Okay, I've worked my corner. Now I'm back to my chain three. And I don't have any stitches to work into here because they've already been worked into, so I'm joining here. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch, but I want to change my color. So I've done two rounds, and I want to change the next color to cream. So instead of finishing off my slip stitch with this color, I'm going to begin it by putting it through the top of my chain three. So remember, you can just work back from the first double crochet to find that chain or you can count up one, two, three, and I catch those two loops, and then I'm going to stop. I find this is kind of the cleanest color join um, when you're working to where you're going to be making chains as the beginning of your project. So I grab my new color with enough um, tail to be able to weave in easy later, and I lay it over my hook and then I'm going to finish off my slip stitch with the new color. So I'm going to pull it through, and I like to tighten down my slip stitch um, no matter what color, whatever color you're using. I tighten it down just to kind of make it almost invisible. So you can see that when I join, I have a nice new color, and this whole triangle is still green. If I would have joined my color at the very end of this double crochet, let me just show you what that looks like if I join kind of how normal color changes go. Usually for color changing, you work up to the last step of the last stitch that you need the previous color in, and then you join right at that last step. So you'll pull through and join with a slip stitch. And you can see it leaves a white slip stitch, or a cream slip stitch. Which, you know, it's not horrible. It'd probably be um, pretty masked when you work over it. But I'm kind of a perfectionist. <laughs> and just in case it's not completely covered up, I like to do the slip stitch color join. Whatever is easier for you, feel free to do. I also like the fact that I can tighten down uh, my previous slip stitch with the old color because it kind of helps secure it also. You can't really tighten it down when you're working it as your last stitch because it'll just tighten down your last stitch. So when I change color I can tighten down my old color because it's just tightening the slip stitch down. And you see my regular, my last stitch is still the same size. So then I drop my tail and I begin my new round. Now you're going to see how this stitch pattern really takes shape. So I chain three, and then I begin by double crocheting in every stitch that I come to. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to double crochet in the next five stitches. I don't have to worry about um, this getting loose because when I weave it in, it'll tighten it back down. So don't worry if that looks a little loose when you first start. You'll get that all fixed out when you weave in. So I double crochet five stitches across, and then again I come to my corner and I'm going to do the same thing that I did my previous round. I'm going to double crochet three times, oops, double crochet three times around my chain. And then I'm going to chain four for my corner. And then do another three on the other side. Now make sure when you're doing this side, when you're doing your double crochets, that you don't accidentally kind of cover this first stitch. Sometimes you can be working around your chain and you'll kind of cover it up and you start working into the next stitch. You're going to end up skipping a stitch and you're going to have a lopsided triangle. Make sure that if you're not sure where to work, look for your V's. Look for the hole where you see the stitch is coming from. So you do need to work into this stitch. So make sure your your previous double crochets aren't covering it because that can happen if you're working fast. Now I am going to double crochet in every stitch across. 
So this is my pattern. I just double crochet in every stitch I come to and then I get to my corner and I do three, chain four, three, and then stitch in every stitch I come to. So it's a really easy repeat and it, it just goes on round after round. Stitch in every stitch, do three double crochets, chain four, three double crochets, double crochet in every stitch, do your corner. And then you see when I get bigger, you're just doing more stitches into your sides. So every single stitch I'm stitching and then I do my corner. But I'm going to keep on continue with this color. So I'm going to work around and I'm going to stop at this corner so you can see what we do over here in this area. So I'm going to stop for a second so you don't have to watch me go all the way around this triangle and I'll meet you back right at this last corner. Okay, I just finished my last corner of this round and then I wanted to show you what you're going to do in these stitches which is pretty much the same as the rest of the round. You're going to do a double crochet in each one that you come to. So you have three more before you get to your join. So you're just going to go ahead and double crochet into those. And then we're going to join back up and change back to our main color which is this green. And you can see that my join has gotten a little wide over here from not weaving in the ends yet it'll just pull right back up once I start weaving those ends in after my next round when I show you how to do that. But first I'm going to join my round and I'm going to switch my colors over. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that top chain. But remember, because I'm changing my color back, I start my slip stitch with my old color. And then I'm going to join in my old color. Get untangled from my cream by laying it over and just pulling it through. Then I can tighten down my slip stitch and I'm going to start doing my next round. So I'm going to chain three to make that first stitch, that first faux double crochet, and then I'm going to start again double crocheting in every stitch I come to and then working my corner with three double crochets, a chain four, and three double crochets. So the pattern just repeats over and over until you're happy with the size that you have. So you can make this triangle as big or as small as you want to, all depending on what you like. After I finish this round I'll show you um, a couple different ways that you can join these up. And you can make lots of different things actually. You can do more than just blankets with these. So I'm going to go ahead and work around because we know what the pattern is. I've gotten to my corner so now I'm going to do three double crochets, chain four, three double crochets. So I'll go back over to this corner so you can see how we um, work that up to the join again. So I will meet you back right here at this corner.